Some people think if they buy expensive golf clubs, it's gonna help them play better golf. Other people think it's all about the individual, the skill level. I've got a little test today. This set of clubs I bought a couple of years ago for 70 pounds. It's a half set of clubs and it's a package set. Now, I've also enlisted the skills, the services of the, one of the best players I know, ex-tour professional, James Robinson. Right, James, these are the clubs and the challenge is fairly simple. Nine holes, can you break par? Now, I'm gonna let you use your own golf ball that you normally use, yep. but this is a half set, 70 pound. What's your first impressions? Can it be done? Possibly. <laughs> Mega cheap set, but I mean, only time will tell. So I'm gonna be your caddy today. I'll give you distances to front, middle and back. Yeah. That's the only help you're gonna have. I'll do. Right, you've got driver, hybrid, six, eight, pitching wedge putter. Grab the driver out and give it a bit of a, a describe this. 11 degree. Yeah. <laughs> Regular. It's not something I'd normally go for. So in context, you're normally extra stiff shaft right. What's your normal swing speed? About 114. Okay. Nine degree. So okay. it's, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> you keep that club out because you're going to need that for yeah, the first goal. Yeah, we're going to need that. 10th goal, par four, just under 400 yards. Let's go. Back nine, can James break par with this set of clubs? I'm actually genuinely <laughs> excited to see you hit these clubs. I'm sure you're maybe not so. I'm a little nervous on the first one. I'm actually... It, it might well, get better. Already I'm fully I don't think there's going to be a harder tee shot than this either. No. Straight into <laughs> for the first shot. <laughs> oh dear. You know what, already, I am fully enjoying this video. Like, this is, this is chilled out, relaxed. I'm just going to carry the bag and hope uh, James can break par. <laughs> oh, that's actually really good. Let's go, champ. Let's go. <laughs> I'll take that. That was absolutely <laughs> mullered. You know what, James? Kudos there. That was a very good opening tee shot. You won 62 to the middle. Pin's probably playing a fraction further. Okay. I mean, you're limited. You've got a six iron, a hybrid, or an eight iron. <laughs> One, six, two, in two. Can you get six there? I'll try. Give it a go. Back foot it. That's not bad. You know what, ladies and gentlemen? Felt all right, that. Two shots with a 70 pound set of clubs, and I think he's putting for birdie. <laughs> that is very, very good. That was a pretty impressive shot to get to here. Slightly hit it a bit long, <laughs> but considering you've not got a seven iron, it's the only option you've had, really. <laughs> for a long range birdie on the first. Go on, go on. Oh, <laughs> not bad. A little bit pacey. All right, for par. I feel slightly helpless. I feel like I can't really guide you much. Even though I know these greens, I feel like you, you're a better skilled golfer. Okay, okay, that's good. Part Solid. the first. So it's like, you give that to me. You don't worry about that. Very, very good. Well done, James. Cheers. All right, James, 11th hole, par three, up the hill. It's playing. Uh, 180 to the flag. Again, slightly into breeze. Slightly into 180. Think you can muscle the six, or do you think it's the hybrid? It's a good six, isn't it? Um, Is it a good six normally, would you say? I'm going to hit a hard, good, hard, low six. Okay. Don't fancy hitting a hybrid. No. Just yet. Oh, it's leaky. Short. Tried to squeeze it. Short. No. Oh, we're chipping. Right. What club do you want? There's a pitching wedge, or there's a pitching wedge? The pitching wedge will do. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> would you, I'm guessing you normally have more loft for this shot. I'd probably use a 58 normally and land it just short of the green with a little bit of check and but that's not an option. No, it's not today. <laughs> <laughs> We're limited. Get through it, get through it. Right, that right. was actually really unlucky. That could have been very, very close. Kicked a little squirty right one. Come on, James, knock it in for par. Love this putter. This guy's good, isn't he? <laughs> this guy is good. Level par three, two. Well done, mate. Okay, 12th hole. Now, this is normally a very drivable par four. Downhill, it's playing just over 300 yards. Yep. And I'm sure with your own driver, you'd knock it on comfortably. It looks that way. But so you've got that. So let's see how you get on with this one. It's okay. a birdie chance. Give if you get a good one away, What's front edge? Front edge is playing 293. I like how he asks. 
what the front edge of uh, this green is using that driver. He's played well so far. His swing is class. Such a good golfer. If you've not seen the clip that we did with James for the podcast, definitely worth checking out. A bit of story behind James. He played in the, uh, the Open at Carnoustie in 2019 after qualifying. This guy can properly play golf. Oh! <laughs> it's well, gone that, high. You know what though? That's not a terrible golf shot. But you're right, it went very, very high. <laughs> bit, bit spinny. <laughs> that went so high. <laughs> so after that tee shot, he's probably hit it about 280. He's now got to play a lob shot with this pitching wedge. With a pitching wedge? Yeah, not, not a particularly straightforward or easy shot. That's mightily impressive though. Down. Oh, okay. It's got a tricky one here down the hill. This is going to be absolutely rapid. He's really just got to tickle this about six inches onto the green. It'll just shoot down this almost ski slope-esque slope on this putting green. He did play that shot very nicely with the wedge. Just didn't have quite enough loft. Hit the flag, hit the flag, hit the flag. Oh! No! Oh. Absolutely smashed it. That was pacey, that really was pacey. pacey. No! Weak. Bogey. Disappointed. Silly bogey. Re Not I'm the club's fault. I'm really disappointed, James. That was poor. All right, James. We'll overlook that little mistake on the last. Sorry, mate. Par five coming up next. Down, wind. It's playing just over 500 yard. Let's do it. Oh no. Pushed it. Sit down. That's okay, okay. actually. You know what? That's, That's short okay. enough to be okay. 255 to the front of the green. James is slightly out of position here. I was hoping he could hit driver and get on there, but he can't. That tree's a bit too what, what do you want to hit? Because there's two options here. We can either hit hybrid and kind of muscle one and try and get close, yep. or play it back into position with like an eight iron or a wedge. Play it back into position with hybrid. <laughs> Combination. So you're going to go with the hybrid. First time you've hit this club. Yep. Nice big tree in my way. Oh, plenty of loft on that. Should do the job. Yeah, it just you, gives you confidence, this thing. At, at the flag, as long as you hit it far enough, you'll get past all the trouble. Okay. <laughs> go for it. Oh, that is so good. That is actually, if that kicks and bounces and hops, oh my goodness. You've put it on the green. Oh, <laughs> get up there. Oh my. It's a great shot. God, <laughs> what? You've just hit that hybrid about 260 yards. That's the one. On the green, putting for eagle. Honestly, I've got ma marvel at that shot you just hit. <laughs> What's a good one? Ridiculous. I didn't think you'd be able to get on the green. Just walking up there, just saying like, that was almost a perfect club. Yeah, it like, gave me confidence with all that loft on it. <laughs> like a little <laughs> lofted like hybrid just knocked it straight over the trees. I didn't think we'd say this today, I'm going to be honest with you. We're putting for eagle. This is for an eagle opportunity <laughs> here on the 13th hole. It's a long one, granted. Up the hill, just notice, by the way, I'm using the terminology we. I mean, it's like a team effort this today. It's not James putting for eagle. We are putting for eagle. Come on, keep coming. This looks very good. This looks incredible. Uh, wow. Uh, you happy with that or? Oh yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. 50 Let's feet, isn't it? So. Tap it in for tap birdie. In. Get back to level par. Very nice. Go. Five holes to go, level par. Level par. 14th hole, par three. It's playing 150, but it's a little bit downwind. I I'm seeing pitching wedge here, James. It's a good one. Well, it's not a tight, is it? Let's be no, honest. No, can't so, be an eight. It's got to be a well hit wedge. Let's go for it. Imagine, just imagine if you got a hole in one on this hole. I mean, it would cause pandemonium. Yeah, mayhem. Is it going to get there? Nice shot. Big bounce. 
Oh my goodness. Go. Oh. Oh, uh, it's not bad. I like how you say it short. <laughs> like when I say it short, that means it's missing the green <laughs> short. Your short is 10 foot short of the hole. That's a lovely golf shot. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> Writer. James is saying left to righter. I'm going to go with that. What Come on, James. Say? Little left to righty. Yeah. Hey, listen. I'm. I'm. I'm going to go with whatever you say. Say <laughs> that <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to putting and reading putts. <laughs> go, go, go! Oh, it was right in the middle. A little breath of wind downwind, maybe, and it's softer. It was right in the middle. Pa. We Why move on to it? next and we're Can still level par. <laughs> Big dog. Thank you. Let it eat, James. Par four. Dog's slight, leg left. Yeah, slight dog leg, just over 400 yards. You kind of, you can take on that court, that bunker on the left. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? 100%. Have we got a number on it? Uh, 240-ish. Okay. So you can easily cover that bunker. That'll do, champ. That is a good golf shot. Do you like a caddy that talks or doesn't talk, James? Um, talkative. Like think, would, think calms your nerves, but not talking about golf. But what about on that, like me saying good shot? Oh yeah. You yeah, can. happy with that? Yeah. Okay, James, after that tee shot, you're 107 to the front, slightly in the rough, downhill, downwind. It's gonna kind of release down. You've really only got the pitching wedge to go for, right? Yeah, <laughs> one option. It's nice and simple, this set. You are going to, yeah, it stops making too many decisions yeah, for you. You can't be indecisive with it. I'm guessing you're going to land it short of the green, are you? Or are you going to I'm land, going to land it, ideally, just a few yards short of the green and just let it release up. Okay. It's not going to spin out of this. Big chase, big hop, big skip, slow down, not too big. <laughs> Go in. <laughs> a lot of mixed emotions wow. on that shot there, James. Yeah. I'm not sure, did you hit it good? Yeah, that was just a little chippy one, just trying to run it in. But that came out uh, zero spin. <laughs> you put in? Uh, yeah. I would put Plastic, it, yeah. without question. <laughs> a good play like you, you might get a little lob wedge underneath it and flip it up into wind. I'd be wind. tempted if I had the full set. Would you? Maybe. So I'd, I'd put this every day. Just shows the different levels of confidence, without question. James is playing well, he really is. His swing is just pure. And he doesn't even play competition golf as much anymore. He's going to do open qualifying this year at St. Anzo Lynx, which is one of his favourite golf courses. So fingers crossed he does well there. This is good preparation for that. For birdie. And then start to break and then keep coming down, keep coming down. No. Oh. They're all online. I thought that was Need good then. The I thought that was good. We'll knock him for another par. Nice. Three. Uh, Three holes left to go. Medium par four, short par four, very gettable par five. Oh, Under like par it. is still on. Like it. You know what, guys? Hopefully you're enjoying this video. If you are, hit that like button. I'm thoroughly enjoying watching James play incredible golf with this set of cheap golf clubs. We've got three holes left to go. Par four, up the hill into win. This is a much, a bit more of a test than it normally plays. Yeah. Those bunkers are easily clearable. You kind of want to hit it straight between those two bunkers on that line. Where that okay. bird is in the fairway. Yep. Straight on that line. On that line. Oh, that is so good. Out there. That is so, so good. You've got a future in caddying. <laughs> <laughs> so they say. <laughs> so they say. <laughs> nice work, pal. Cheers. After a ridiculously good tee shot, you are one, two, four to the front. 140 to the middle, pins just short of that. So you're probably playing like a 135. 135, yeah. Into wind. Now, I know you said before uphill. that's normally a pitching wedge for you, isn't it? Yeah, it would be. Definitely quite a lot of wind now, uphill. It is. Is it, a, it is, it a, is it a floaty eight iron? Yeah, it's just a knockdown eight. You probably hit nine normally, maybe? With my own set, a bit lower spinning shafts, maybe, yeah. But uh, eight, eight, eight should be good here, yeah. I think eight. Just land it just at that front of the green. The wind's just going to. Hold it up a little bit and with a proper strike. Oh, that is gorgeous. In that the hole. is gorgeous. In the hole. Oh my God. <laughs> 
James actually managed to spin the eight iron back to the front of the green. So uh, maybe, yeah, not as good as I must admit I first thought it was. James got this for birdie now, slightly up the hill. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Yes! <laughs> Let me get that golf ball for you, James. That was Cheers, absolute mate. joke. Good read. I'm chuffed for him, but it makes me sick. Is that frigging good? I mean, that is a joke. Well done, mate. That is class. You deserved a birdie that second shot. <laughs> One under and two very easy holes to come up. Unbelievable, that. 17th hole, par four. Not super long, 284. And now normally, for a golfer like James, it'd probably be even three would he'd get there. Maybe not in this wind, maybe it still would be driver. Got the big stick out. The 11 degrees. 11 degree. You've hit it well, even Lip fairness to you. Flex. You just can't hit it too hard, right? No. Is that what you found? If you hit it hard, it just spins up. So you've just got to smooth it nice and easy into the breezy. <laughs> it's not bad. Bang on line with the flag. Right. I'm just not sure it's got the legs. Bit spinny. Sneaky little flag, that, isn't it? It is a sneaky flag. I'm guessing we've just got the one option, the pitching wedge. It's nice and simple, isn't it? <laughs> give us the wedge. <laughs> just you. give me the wedge. Uh, what do you see this, James? Landing it just short and trundling down? Yeah, I'm going to try and pop it up a little bit, open the face, land it into that upslope and then just over the hill and smelly flag. So let's just try and get it as close a, as we a can. Smelly flag? <laughs> <laughs> I've not heard that term before. No, no. No, not think. No. Too Long. far. Long. Didn't, right. didn't pop it up enough. I can't even critique you on that shot, James, because I still think it might have been better than my attempt. Up the hill, chipping birdie. Who knows? Come on, take the break. That's a lovely shot. Let me let, let me get your putter. You you stay there. You know. Let, let me let me get that for you, sir. Well Cheers, done, buddy. Lovely golf Might shot. Might need a little clean that one. I'll clean it for you. Don't <laughs> worry. Right for par. Lovely little chip that. Yeah. Let's knock it in. Let's stay one under with the par five left to come. Clean that ball. Superstar. Superstar. Oh. Here we go. that golf club for you, James. Thank well done, you, pal. Right, one to go. One under one par. Go. Put an, a, and get a ball par five coming up. So as we get to this last tee shot, I think uh, this video has highlighted a few things. Thank I you. kind of want to do it as a bit of fun. Want to see how a skilled golfer such as James, which ridiculous, your skill level has far exceeded my expectations. You've been awesome today. Thank you. <laughs> how a skilled golfer who has been a tour player, who's played in the open, could play with a set that is absolutely not suited to him, that's cheap as chips at 70 pounds for this full set of clubs, and it's only a half set, and he's under par. I mean, that tells us a lot about the price of equipment, what our expectation level should be about equipment. Yeah, you can spend all the money you want with golfer gear, and I don't blame anyone for doing so, because it's great, why not? But it just shows you don't have to buy a golf game by buying equipment. Getting good at golf, then we get some lessons, improving your technique may be the factor that is going to help you play better. What, what have you thought of this kind of setup and this little challenge? It's, it's been fun so far. Obviously, when you asked me, I was a bit, uh, bit worried I would hit these clubs, but so far, hitting them pretty good. They're uh, fairly decent for uh, such a cheap set. And you as a coach now, obviously you coach now for a full time. If you want to check out James, I'll put his link down below. Like, would you advocate the skill, the golf technique over maybe investing a lot of money in new golf clubs you're definitely going to get more out of like the tuition definitely you can't buy a golf game unfortunately you have to earn it with the right skills i want to buy your <laughs> golf game like you put a price on your golf game and i will buy it off you beauty bit necky. little bit a little bit high <laughs> bit necky that one go a little bit fady all right james second shot into this par five you are uh, 257 yards to the middle that'd right. normally be like a three wood for you would it could get three wood there normally and we've not got three wood we haven't got three wood we've got a hybrid which i don't think would get there into wind or we've got an 11 degree driver that's it driver <laughs> <laughs> good fun let's finish this off with a bit of a flurry driver off the deck ah. oh no <laughs>
I think it's short of the bunker. Bit of a drop kick. <laughs> a little for bit. It. A little bit of a drop kick. I was over it thinking, when was the last time I actually did this drive <laughs> off the deck? <laughs> it was a big ask. <laughs> you just mentioned then the walk up. You feel like you could have even shot better if there was a slightly more lofted club option in this as well, if wouldn't there, you? If there was a sand wedge in the set, like you've got to think of that flop shot I had before. I've had it on two occasions where I've just not had enough loft really. Take yeah. that poppy shot. Under par and you've, you've got nowhere close to the equipment that you needed. This <laughs> makes it even more impressive. Right, let's, fin let's see if we what can finish flag, off again? 102 flag. 102 flag. So you probably want to land this maybe a 95, do you think? Yeah. Into breeze, out the rough. No, don't want to you launch it. I've got to be honest, you can't go long. Okay. It's a little short of it then. Yeah, pin high right is perfect. Good, good caddy tip though. Caddy, caddy would say just short though just short is good so not the negative it's the positive one <laughs> so just short right it'd be perfect okay let's do it i'm learning as we go along here. <laughs> come on james stick it close oh that is absolutely beautiful go a bit Sit down a lot. <laughs> My judgment is shocking with ice. That's okay. Are we oh, all right? Oh, hello. Not done too bad. It's all right. Okay, birdie opportunity on the last. Let's go for to it. To finish two under par would be incredible. Far beyond what I expected. To finish under par is just an amazing achievement. So two putt to achieve that. One putt to finish two under par. I'm proud of my boy. He's done well. I feel, I feel like we've done well. As, as, I think that's the, the thing I'm going to take away from today. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. No. Not bad. Had a lot a of swing weak. at the end. Tap that in. Finishes one on the par with that set of golf clubs. James. Phenomenal. Guys, if you like seeing James on the channel, I might do more videos again in the future. Definitely check James out on his social media. One on the par using ridiculously cheap clubs. Awesome. Thanks, mate. <laughs>